Hey, this is Stay Puff coming to you with another review. Sorry it's been a while. Um, this time I'm going to re uh, review and unbox this uh, Funko Pop, which is Dancing Group from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, this is the new one that just came out. Um, as you can see, it has all the fun little dancing group in here. He's in his little planter. Um, and it kind of shows all the stuff. It just says dancing group number 65. And then it has on the back all the other ones that you can collect um, from Star-Lord without his mask to regular Star-Lord, regular group, all that fun stuff. All right. Um, anyhow, so let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm not exactly sure what the numbers stand for. I have a bunch of these guys. I try to look it up. If anybody knows and they want to tell me, that'd be awesome. Um, so we got this guy last night, um, which was like December 21st, um, at Books A Million. Um, we went in there and they had two of them. So this one's actually a bobblehead, as you can see. So his little head moves, you know, so he can look like he's dancing. And his little, this is really cute. So he's got his little buds here and they look they're very well painted. Um, the top of his head's very well done. He's got a whole bunch of little grooves in the side of his head here. Um, he's got a little dirt down here in his plantar thing. In his little pot. And his little fingertips right here are green on both sides. Just like they were in the movie when he had all that fun like moss. Like, I don't know exactly what, it, what you want to call magical. It's like poison ivy. I don't know what you want to call it, but like magical little dust that came out and helped them, um, which was awesome. Um, anyhow, so that's basically that. It has a little Funko brand and it has Funko.com on here. So lots of advertising, but it's very cute. Um, it'd be awesome desk accessory. There's not very many people that's not gonna be like, oh, cause anybody that's seen the movie knows that that is adorable. So I'm just gonna kind of compare him I'm not opening these up. These are not going to be unboxings, but you know, kind of compare the two. So there's Groot, the real one. This is number 49. Um, so you can kind of see size was. So if you imagine, I mean, in the box, Groot, the little dancing Groot, was sitting like this. And that one's a lot bigger. Um, so that's that. And then here's one that's exclusive to Loot Crate. This one's personally my favorite. Um, very, very, very cool. Um, this is what Loot Crate won me over on this. They had Kid Robot and Funko in the same box. Completely awesome. Um, they had another Loot Crate figure. I'm just going to um, show you the exclusive figure and do like a short little review on him, but I'm not going to unbox him either because these guys are hard to get your hands on. They're not very easy. There's not very many of them because they do like 5,000 crates a month or 2,500 crates a month. So there's not very many of these in existence. Um, so the difference between this Groot and this Groot is you can see here his left hand is completely clear. Um, like he's disappearing and then he's completely covered in moss. Just like he was in the movie. And you can see it's got the little Loot Crate exclusive figure here. Um, Anybody that's not in the know with Loot Crate, it's a box that you receive every month and it has a bunch of nerdy things in it that's just amazing. Um, some of it can be kind of junky, um, but a lot of times you get some really good stuff. Like It's like 20 bucks a month and that's with the shipping. So like in my eyes, this is completely worth 20 bucks. But it's a gamble each month what you're, what you're going to get. Like They usually tell you by the end of the month like some of the things that may or may not be in it. Um, so if you kind of want to get in on it, I think it would be a good idea. They usually have like a coupon for three dollars off, so you're not gonna be losing out on anything if you like to collect pops. Um so that's my review on the vinyl Funko Pop um of Dancing Groot. I hope that everybody gets their hands on one of these bad boys because it is completely freaking adorable. Um if you have any questions just let me know. Alright, thanks guys. Have a happy holiday.